Hello, everybody. So this, this is the sunsetting um, of a working group. So we have had a working group for a while. Um, the title of this slide is the title of a paper that is now accepted and in press for MRS Bulletin. Um, the co-authors are listed here, and it is the output of a working group. Um, so we decided that we should write a concept article. Let me see if I can go to the, there we go. So we decided that we should write a sort of a concept or a position paper on uh, fair data in materials and what this enables, why it's important and why it should be important to the materials community. And so uh, we wanted to get people excited about this, maybe those that might still be um, unexcited by data and uh, data science and machine learning in materials. Um, and so the six of us met every few weeks or month. Um, we wrote and refined a position paper. We did homework reaching out to different stakeholders, um, publishers and uh, end users and repository people, et cetera. Um, came back with that information, then honed the, you know, the content of the position paper, further refined it. We eventually submitted, revised, you know, um, did that whole process. And now it is, as of a few days ago, finally accepted, and it should hit um, MRS Bulletin very soon, as soon as I get past the paywall, because to make it open access, we have to cough up some money, and being a uh, a product of a MARTA working group, it seems like it really should be open access. So I'm, we're working on getting the payment information to them, and then hopefully they will publish it forthwith. Um, so this is a great success, I think, of a MARTA working group, and it shows that we start, we accomplish something, and then we and then we disperse, and we will join other working groups and, and move forward. Um, so I think that is, oh, that's almost it. This is the like outline of the paper. Here's one of the little um, images, the graphics from the paper that is a roadmap for materials data that we came up with. And the, one of the ways that we divided it in this paper was to talk about individual actions as what is you, what can you do as a researcher, an experimentalist or a computational person, just you yourself or you and your lab group. And then we talked also about community actions, how the community could facilitate this, um, much of uh, concepts, many of which we've been discussing here today. So hopefully um, this will strike a chord and resonate with some of you. And um, the paper is already on archive. Here is the link for it on archive, and hopefully it will be available very soon in um, the uh, bulletin. So that's it. Thank you.